Alright. Well, I haven't done one of these in a while. Hi, welcome to Harrison by the Stream. I know we look very different. I am slowly turning into Chewbacca, but I wanted to actually talk with you guys about something that I, a lot of people, I guess, don't really know about, and it's what happens to Netflix shows and films when they just disappear. So, Netflix is amazing. We all know this, but we also know that the reason it's amazing is because of the wide range of films and television that you can enjoy on a daily basis. It's very different from, obviously, a lot of other content platforms because not only does it make original content, but it sometimes has a good chunk of films from a certain distributor or a certain filmmaker. Now, obviously, when these new films go up and new TV shows, sometimes you're known, and that's through Netflix's own YouTube account or their social media presence, and that's because that's the film that they produce and that they make. They have a certain level of marketing that they have for each project and they devote a certain amount of time towards that. However, whenever they bring in new films and TV shows from different distributors or different production companies, they're not always given the same budget and you sometimes aren't always told. The most that you kind of get is usually from the New Arrivals section. Now, New Arrivals is the best. I go through it at least once a week to try and see what's new and what's awesome in there. Sometimes I find some cool stuff, sometimes I find some documentaries. I love it to bits. However, on the opposite end of the spectrum, there's no leaving soon category, which is kind of sad. I usually have to get that information from a whole range of sources before I even decide to pick a film. So what happens when a film or a TV series leaves Netflix? Usually what occurs is that every single licensed property on Netflix has a certain contract. Not, not every single film or every single TV show is going to exist on Netflix forever. So usually when you create your queue or my list, you will sometimes pick like, oh, I'll watch this at some point, I'll watch this later on and it constantly reminds me of the story that Homer Simpson tells about trying to see Mr. T right before he's going into space. The entire day I kept saying, I'll go a little later, I'll go a little later. And then when I got there, they told me he just left. And when I asked the mall guy if he would ever come back again, he said he didn't know. Well, I'm never gonna let something like that happen again! Yeah, I feel that sometimes too when I can't watch my favorite TV show ever again on Netflix. Now, obviously, what happens is, is that every single time a distributor works with Netflix, they will have their programs or they have their movies. They have it on for a certain period of time. And this is because that this is how those companies make money, by licensing their films and TV shows for a certain period of time. Now, usually, this is because that some production companies make more money through digital sales, such as through iTunes or Google Play, and sometimes don't make as much money licensing with content platforms, such as Amazon or Netflix or Stan or Hulu, so on and so forth forth. But the main thing to realize is that, yeah, sometimes if the films do well and if they're watched a certain amount of times, that they'll be back, and that's awesome. But you should check if these films and TV shows are going sometime soon. Also, the only way that you can actually check on MyQ is actually if you go to the website and you can actually see, like I mentioned before, that it has a certain amount of time left. But not every single, like, I don't check every single film. That's crazy. That's like what a crazy man does. So what can you do if a film or TV show is leaving? Not much. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Like, other than creating a petition, or reaching out to the production company or the distributor saying, hey, we would actually kind of like this show for a little bit more time because we're such big fans. You know, it, it doesn't help always, but it's kind of nice to have it there. Sometimes these fan campaigns can actually go crazy and actually will bring a show back, but it's very rare for that to occur. I think the main thing is that, I mean, I guess you should just enjoy what you have at the time. I think that to give a great example of when you know a TV show or a movie is coming to Netflix, you can obviously check sites like Forbes or Deadline Hollywood because they're like, tell you whenever Netflix makes a massive deal. So for example, right now, they have a huge deal with Marvel, if you didn't already know. Not only are they producing original TV shows for Marvel Studios, but also they're going to be a distribution platform for future films. So this means at some point in the future, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 will be released in cinemas and then will come to Netflix sometime down the track. Now obviously there will be a period of time where you can purchase the film through Amazon or through iTunes or through another distribution platform because they need to make back a little bit more money. Although I actually think for that example, they're probably going to break a billion dollars, but they still need to make more money so they can continue to make awesome films such as Volume 3 or Black Panther and so on and so forth. So when a film or a TV show disappears off Netflix, 
that's not your fault. It has nothing to do with you. It has to do with contracts and timing and money. And you know what? It might be back. And who, look, if you really, really do like a series, I always suggest buying it on Blu-ray or buying it in physical media. To some degree, yes, it's a bit annoying. I know that I personally have bought literally hundreds of DVDs and Blu-rays over the year, mainly because I want to support the creator and sometimes that works out and sometimes it doesn't. But the main thing to remember is that you should just love the shows and movies that you love for the time that you have them. I mean, if you want to watch something now or if you want to watch something that isn't in a Netflix original, watch it now. Like, I mean, if you're studying, do study. Do, definitely do that because we need more doctors and we need more intelligent people in this world. But if you have the time, maybe watch that documentary about the Central Park Five or maybe check out that new series that your friend told you about from Sweden. They, we all have a limited time on this earth. We are essentially all of the shows, all of the people that you know are TV shows that are on Netflix. And one day we're all going to disappear. I'm Harrison by the stream, and thank you so much for watching. Uh, do like and subscribe. Obviously, do uh, check out my Harrison Does Things Facebook page, which is where I'm putting up content on a weekly basis now. And I want to thank you so much for watching and sticking around. There are people who leave comments on a weekly basis, and I'm like, I haven't made a video in a year, but I want to thank you all so much. I will be producing more content, not necessarily for this uh, channel, but if something happens in the future, I just want to let you know I'm still making stuff, I'm still out there, and I still love you. Thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome day.